Hey folks, how you doing? Time for another Donny Say Something Quick Hit with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to start with a quote from Detroit Lion quarterback Jared Goff. He said, It was the best he felt going into a game. And all that positivity that the Detroit Lions had flowed in all over the place on the Detroit Lions sideline as they pretty much demolished the Dallas Cowboys yesterday. It was ugly. 47 to 9. Wow. And by the way, that's a four game losing streak at home. Shaking the head right now. I and mean, I was watching the Dallas Cowboy fans and. They were in disbelief, shock. They had nothing to say. Anyway, Jared Goff had a, had a good game. He, uh, 18 to 25 for 315 yards. Also, every time the Detroit Lions uh, touched the ball, was nine times out of ten, they scored. And the Cowboy defense really didn't have an answer for that. They did, uh... Now, one positive thing out of it, they had a lead in the first quarter. The first time the Cowboys had a lead at home. It was on a field goal. Lions uh, scored a touchdown and didn't look back. It was that kind of a game. Uh, also, uh, one scary moment in, in the game, uh, Lions defensive end uh, Adrian uh, Hutchinson broke his leg. It happened on a Dak Prescott sack. A teammate ran to his leg and broke his uh, tibula. And he's going to be out for a while. But then more likely out for the season. Other than that, Lions just walked into the AT&T Stadium and just dominated like nobody's business. It was ugly. Whew. As for the Cowboys, well, only a positive thing out of it was uh, Brandon Aubrey, 3-for-3 three three on field goals, including a long 50-yarder. He continues his hot foot. All the other Dallas Cowboys weren't so hot yesterday. Brr. Well, here we are at the bye week. Cowboys have a whole week to piece things together. They do, uh, we'll get some bodies back healthy. Hopefully that will help things out as Cowboys start a murderous stretch of games beginning on a road trip, which they've had some success on the road in San Francisco against the 49ers. And after that, they got Atlanta. And on the next Donnie Sport, Donnie Say Something Quick Hit, I will predict the rest of the season. There will be some heartbreaker losses, cardiac wins, and blowouts like these. So, come on back uh, next week, and I will tell you all about what's going to happen with the Cowboys the rest of the way. Oh, yeah. By the way, Dallas Cowboys uh, mentioned, and Jerry Jones uh, mentioned that uh, Mike McCarthy, the coach, he said there'll be no changes at the head coaching spot. That's the uh, subliminal message for, uh, hold your breath on that. <laughs> uh, that's like the vote of confidence that uh, people uh, usually give in a situation where Mike McCarthy is pretty much uh, in deep trouble. <laughs> so anyway, Cowboys off this week. When they hit the field, they'll be in San Francisco taking on the 49ers, and we'll talk more about that. By the way, the Don, Donnie Say Something Quick Hit, find it. YouTube.com slash Donnie Sports 17 Network, Facebook.com slash Donnie Sports 17 Network, and above my head is the Donnie Sport Halloween Film Festival hashtag if you want to see something scary as if the Dallas Cowboy game wasn't scary enough. So, check that out on Facebook and TikTok. And I will see you next week as we look at the Cowboys' rest of the season. It's, 
It'll be interesting. I can tell you that. That'll do it for the Donnie Sport. Donnie Say Something Quick Hit Podcast. Please check it out. And, oh, by the way, Jerry Jones had his 82nd birthday. I wish the Cowboys would have gave him a much better birthday gift than what they had yesterday. So with that in mind, Jerry, I have a song for you. Here we go. See you next week.